Dude, how much did losing a player that early maybe set the tone and just what did you make of, of the call and the boarding itself? Well, playing the first five minutes of the game shorthanded is that sets the tone of the game right away. Uh, the call is, it's, uh, you know, I don't think there was any malicious uh, intent to it, but when the player hits his head on the dasher board and you got a bad cut, it's pretty much, uh, you know, that's the call that you're going to see every time. So uh, that call, I mean, it's unfortunate it happened. Like I said, I don't think Tony meant that to, to be that way, but that's probably the right call at the right time. I thought we did actually a really good job of the penalty kill. Right till the end, one found us way through, and then the rest of the first period, we were poor. Is I'll just I'll leave it at that. Are you uh, concerned at all about anything supplemental with Tony? Maybe. I'll, uh, I'll have to look at it again. I mean, the league will look at it, I'm sure, whenever there's a five-minute penalty. So we'll just leave it, let them look at it first. It's as simple as it's just that situation they had to make that call, or do you worry that... No, they that's, maybe look I, I don't think there, there wasn't any intent in it. He had okay. dropped a stick, and he's just trying to play hard in the corner, and the player turns, and there has to be a little bit of accountability on the player also, on the player that turned putting himself in a vulnerable position. But that being said, you, when he hits his head on the boards, that's, you know, I, I understand why the referee made the call. Davey Zorki, how, how do you coach him through this? How do you coach him to make keep a different talking, decision? Keep, you keep showing him all those situations, and he'll continue to learn. From Mike tonight? Yeah, he was excellent. I mean, excellent. We were so poor in the first period. It was, it was uh, maddening to say the least. You know, especially you play against a good team, and they're a desperate team. Like they're playing hard right now, and we actually played that well the way the other night in L.A. Like we competed hard, and tonight, uh, and not everybody. Like we had guys trying, but the ability to get into a battle or want to get in a battle and then win the puck to allow you to play in the offensive zone or to clear your zone. There's just not enough guys that were engaged in that. And when you don't do that, it just, the whole game just is whizzing by you. And, you know, there's four or five guys that, that they just, we have to compete harder, you know. And it doesn't let anybody else off the hook. We have to execute better, but we're just... We just got some people that got to compete harder. That's just the way it is. Domi's goes in or Polkin. I mean, did you feel that it was on the brink of maybe flipping if just well, one went need, in? You need one like that, especially when Schmidt's standing on his head and you'd like to get, you know, he's, Schmidt stops the uh, penalty shot. And, you know, we need one of those chances to go in just to at least give us a little push, you know. But that wasn't to be. How do you just assess your roster going on this trip with Shane's injury? Um, do you, do you expect to add any reinforcements for this trip, or what are you thinking? Possibly, yeah. We're going to talk about it here. We'll let two sons finish in their game tonight, and then we'll talk about it. There's no practice in the morning, but we'll talk about it. We, we're right at 20 right now. We probably have to take somebody with us. So we'll figure that out in the morning. How's the other two guys staying home? Yeah. What's that? So how's the other two guys still I think everybody ready? will come on the trip, but they're not close to playing. Yeah. A defenseman, maybe with... D'Angelo's we'll or I got, I haven't forward? I talked to the trainers yet tonight. And some of it might depend on whether D'Angelo, yeah. you know, that there. So, Dave, your thoughts about the way Allen played in goal for them? He was just really solid. You know, I think we um, we had three or four of what I thought were real great A chances that he made good saves on. Uh, Bokanen's breakaway. Uh, Dvorak had a real good deflection in front there. So he was just, he was really solid. Just... Steady and solid, and Schmidt was spectacular, and that's, goaltending was good from both sides tonight. Do you feel that D'Angelo may be disciplined by the league? I don't know yet. I'll have to look at it closer, but it's you're better off just leaving it up to them. They they do a good job of that, and we'll see. I, mean, I, I don't think there was any intent on his part, but when a player gets cut on the head... That, but the league may look at it in another way, though. Well, just the league, you know, they don't want to see anybody getting hurt either, you know. So could he have done something different? Possibly that's what they look at, you know.